Hi everyone, my name is Chivan. In this video, I will talk about farming uh, attack, the farming malware. I'll try to make this video uh, more more uh, more about the awareness perspective. It's not going to be too technical. So some somewhere I may use some technical terms. So I'll try my best to make it as as understandable by the any common person can uh, can understand. So this this may be useful for making this uh, farming attack uh, awareness in the community and as well as that, that can be a conceptual uh, topic discussion or a video for, for technical person as well but my motive here to make this as a more awareness sort of video so anyone can this can be helpful for anyone so what is farming so farming is uh, when cyber criminal criminal install malicious code into user device or server and that unknowingly redirect them to fraud website so that is uh, something called farming so they farm they uh, try to uh, redirect the actual traffic flow uh, so user will not aware of when this happened uh, and the user becomes the victim of this uh, fraud so what happens here if uh, i'll try to explain this by using this diagram here so let's say here is a client who is trying to make a transaction into some uh, e-commerce website so that e-commerce website name can be avc.com so this avc.com https www.abc.com that's called url uh, or you can say for now you can say this website you're trying so the from the user user is doing correctly uh, he or she is going to type this website on the browser and entering credential or going into card to make the payment so till this point everything is fine but when the user make click on the payment link the attacker has already done the, its job already in in the dns uh, dns ca cache positioning into the nearest uh, dns server or in the client machine uh, the cache poison attacker use this technique here so attacker poison the dns dns cache here so as soon as the user try to access this abc.com website that gets redirected to in the background to the something uh, xyz.com that and the xyz.com is the uh, completely attacker own website so uh, attacker is uh, handling this website has whole control of it so from there uh, let's say the user is making payment so if uh, once this redirection happen so that transaction and everything will be going or handled by this fake website and which is not the legit transaction from uh, from this uh, stays so as soon as the client make the transaction as uh, probably the client may get an error message or something but later the, then the amount will be taken uh, from the card or bank of this client so this is what really happened in farming so this is really advanced technique uh, quite advanced uh, the technical things they use a lot of thing in the background but for now I'm just trying to explain from the awareness point of view so what we could do to avoid this as a user here the couple of things we could try whenever we try to make any financial transaction or any sensitive information exposure we feel the website we are accessing so we could try to avoid accessing such uh, website or transaction in a public internet first thing first so try to do such transaction in a trusted network it can be your, at your home network or <coughs> excuse me you know any protected network you could try that is one thing and you can you can uh, have your antivirus up to date in your computer that is another thing and then third thing you could see and ensure that uh, you are typing the correct website there may be some spelling uh, you have to be very thoroughly reading that website directly and it has to be HTTPS web, uh, website here and this way you could try however as I mentioned the farming happens after 
entering this URL. The user is going to type this URL correctly, but with the help of DNS, DNS caching, caching, the, the cache get, uh, is poisoned by the attacker, is spooked by the attacker, and once the, you type abc.com, that gets redirected. Uh, the, law, the technical thing comes in picture, redirects to, to the xyz.com. <clears throat> then from there it it happens. So it's that's why it's I mentioned it is little difficult to uh, catch catch this farming atta uh, attack from the normal user standpoint. So, however, we could try all these uh, countermeasures, uh, but it's difficult. But yeah, the, as we were more aware, yeah, there are good chances we could avoid uh, such thing. And they, this once this is done, so attacker takes the control of everything, and and then they can per, per redirect, and you are going to losses. So you may have heard this uh, uh, in news uh, several times that someone tried to make uh, buy some product on, on XYZ website, and the transaction got failed, but you this user was charged by the X amount, and later or and then they lost x amount of money from their bank account or from the credit card so th this has been very frequent uh, so this is what the, uh, happen in the background when such sort of transaction so in continuation to this i will also talk about uh, fishing and farming fishing versus farming so in, in phishing, the types of phishing attacks available, I already discussed in my another video. You could refer to this one if you wanted to understand all this, uh, these conceptually, like what is adware, uh, the how the, the spamming happened, and the wishing, what is wishing, uh, spamming, um, sm smashing, and all, all these sort of phishing attacks. And here, I'm I'll, so. These are also somewhat similar, like what farming happening here, because uh, because in any case the user, the attacker makes the uh, user uh, lucrative or or fake the links in between. But in case of phishing, the uh, the attacker completely fake the link. So uh, in a first attempt itself, the user is going to click on the fake links. However, in, in case of farming, that is not the case. It, it's a sort of DNS server redirect users to the simulated website, which can be attacker controlled website. And from there, they make the uh, further operation, whatever the attacker want, want to do. Uh, in case of phishing, uh, the, what happens? The phishing uh, is slightly, uh, you can say the first step the attacker may try. So uh, as soon as the attacker uh, insert uh, something or uh, into the or malicious code into the use some uh, uh, victim's machine and with the help of these phishing insertion injection, then attacker may try to get the more information, which can be helpful to perform uh, further farming. So farming is an advanced operation the attacker will be performing after gathering or performing the reconnaissance at the first place. Uh, that's it in this video. Hope this has been informative to you. If you like, please subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.